This video is powered by patrons. See the link in the description and learn how you can support videos like this. Before Miles Morales arrived to live here, before he even received his powers, during New York's terrible year, as the haze of Devil's Breath was clearing, one of the city's most successful villains was engaged in one of his greatest ever battles, in a body shop in Harlem. I see Spider-Man fighting this massive guy with fangs like a shark. That would be one Lonnie Lincoln, AKA Tombstone. Tombstone has multiple superpowers. One of them arguably came naturally. Another he received as a child in Harlem from a chemical produced by Alchemax. Alchemax is a chemical company that have made their home in Harlem. They create chemicals and plastics for numerous corporate sectors. Agriculture, food, transportation, pharmaceuticals. They have fingerprints over most things New Yorkers touch in their daily lives. And that reach and their success will only grow larger. So like any company that focuses on growth, they have taken their eyes from safety and ethics at times over the years. Due to this, a youthful Lonnie Lincoln encountered some of these chemicals and it caused a mutagenic reaction. The pigment in his skin changed. It's not clear how much it contributed to his great strength. He may have cultivated it himself anyway, but it gave him the confidence to face any fight because this affliction made Lonnie nigh on invulnerable to injury. But it was his other superpower that made him most dangerous and contributed to his rise in becoming one of the most successful gang leaders in the history of the city. Tombstone was obsessed with self-mastery and as he fought Spider-Man in his chop shop in Harlem, he was partaking in the greatest fight of his life. End of the day, this is what I love. Great fight, great challenge. It's a shame that Tombstone chose crime to excel at, because in many ways, he's an inspiration. I'm the Patient Wolf, and I'm a video game storyteller. I tell stories in many video game worlds. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, like the video if you enjoy it, and if you want to watch more videos on Spider-Man, head over to Patreon, where you can watch my videos months in advance and ad-free. And if you haven't seen the Spider-Man content previously released, click the links in the description to watch monster videos like the story of Peter Parker and Miles Morales. I'm the Patient Wolf, and this is the story of Tombstone. Spider-Man had put Tombstone to the back of his mind during all the recent goings on in his life. Martin Lee's anger, Otto Octavius's psychosis, Aunt May's passing. He had fought him before, of course, and had not come out unscathed. You remember last time we did this dance? Yeah. Your leg healed up okay. Hurts when it rains, but otherwise dandy. When Peter was searching for evidence on Martin Lee's involvement in the bombing, he came across an invoice from Pale Horse Rides. That's one expensive tune-up. It didn't take him and Mary Jane long to connect the repair shop with Tombstone. MJ delved deeper. Within the bustling enterprise between the boxes, barrels and eavesdropped conversations, she discovers numerous things. Tombstone was being paid handsomely for a service. Tombstone and his enterprise were expert designers, welders and fabricators. His latest commission? An APC. This is what they're building for Lee. The armoured personnel carrier Martin Lee would use to procure Devil's Breath from Morgan Michael. Tombstone is intensely proud of his craft and dedicates himself to perfection wherever he can apply it. He also demands this of the people that he employs. He will not countenance imperfection in the work that leaves his shop. You're right, Rick. Won't notice? Cause it won't be there. And he's not beneath using fear or his invulnerabilities to encourage better from his men. And now I need a new welder. MJ discovered three more things before she sneaked out of Pale Horse Rides. Tombstone's gang was placing GPS trackers on all shipments leaving the building. But why? 
Protecting trade secrets. Doesn't want any word on grave dust leaking out. Grave dust. The street name for a new drug being developed by Tombstone. You tried any yet? Only samples. Careful. Boss is still perfecting the recipe, but man, it's got a kick. And barrels and barrels of chemicals from Alchemax. Alchemax? Why is that so familiar? Perhaps because of the news reports on their repeated lapses in public safety that gave Tombstone his powers. But Tombstone, rather than anger at this cursed gift, rather than reject these chemicals, he needed them for his latest and greatest plan. One that could elevate Tombstone's gang to the most powerful gang in New York. It was the GPS trackers that would help Spider-Man keep the trail warm. Peter heads to the lab. If I can reverse engineer this, it should track Tombstone's shipments. Just gotta follow the signal. Peter tracks down the numerous shipments of numerous barrels, both full and empty of Alchemax chemicals. You think all these chemicals are safe to be around? Safer than being around the boss if we screw up. Peter diagnoses their contents. Diox-3? Isn't this the chemical Tombstone was exposed to as a kid? What's he doing with it now? The answer arrives via motorcycle to protect their secrets. <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Come on! This is Grave Dust, Tombstone's newly designed drug. Designed to give the same powers to his men that he has had for many years. Strength, confidence, aggression, and invulnerability. The drug in those inhalers only lasts a little while. Gotta strike when it wears off. It is temporary, but this will help his gang and make him piles of cash. This stuff hits the street and there'll be a huge market for it, with Tombstone as the sole supplier. Left behind by these fallen bikers is the delivery apparatus for Grave Dust, a bespoke inhaler. Pretty clever recipe for temporary invulnerability. I think I can synthesize a counter drug. Most successful people can't survive on one world-class skill alone. Those that make the most impact on the world, or just on their own spectrum of success, have cultivated two or more. Spider-Man has his spidey skills and his brain for science. With that brain, he backward engineers a counter drug that could not only defeat his gang, but take down Tombstone himself. There, single dose of the counter drug. Just need to test it out. Tombstone's world-class skills are of course his inability to break and feel pain. It's his relentless focus on incremental self-improvement. But there is another skill he has mastered. One we could all do with learning. Lonnie Lincoln was happier with the challenge, it was clear. Because his quest for elite tier performance can be lonely. When those you compete with or against fall off the pace. Perhaps these moments became unwelcome moments to reflect. But that moment quickly evaporates when the next challenge presents itself. The angry drug lord drank alone. And this was to be Tombstone's greatest challenge to date. As Tombstone duels with Spider-Man, he does not see a nemesis. He sees an obstacle that can only make him better. Instead of anger, he has admiration. You ever wanted to team up? We could do some real damage. And instead of anger at Spider-Man administering his counter drug, the drug that removes his lifelong gift of invulnerability, instead of anger, instead of loss, he feels that hard-earned rush that many people so rarely seek to feel. Suddenly, he has received a handicap, a level of complexity that he must work to get over, and the thought of this challenge feels good because it feels bad. Hurt me. I don't remember the last time that happened. Welcome back to the human experience, Lonnie. This fight is an obstacle he won't overcome today. As he is flawed, with his arms dislocated and shattered, he can admit that to himself. Can we say your crazy drug lord days are done, please? Sure, for now. Because his greatest skill, 
The one that has elevated him more than any other is the ability to transcend his ego, to rise above emotion and see the lesson in everything. Too much to hope you'll be taking it easier now that you're, uh, mortal? <laughs> Not a chance. Threat of death just ups the thrill. Can't wait for the rematch. I like you. It's unclear how long the effects of the counter-drug will last. But unlike some villains who will languish in the cells of wrath stewing in anger over the torment of defeat, anger, a hellish nightmare only the mind can conjure. Tombstone will sit smiling, his ego transcended, relishing in the wake of this moment, and basking in the thought of meeting that match again. Neither himself or Spider-Man know when that will be, but the raft won't hold a guy like this for long. The city holds many more stories, and if you would like to watch those now, well in advance of their release on YouTube, head over to Patreon, where you can watch them ad-free and support future videos in the process. Thanks to everyone on the screen now that do, and to everyone else, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell, and make sure to press like for the algorithm. And if you like this, why not watch this video next, and others like it down in the description. I'm the Patient Wolf, and this has been the story of Tombstone.